Hi, beautiful. Welcome in. How can I help you? Mm-hmm. Okay, perfect. And what is your last name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see you right here for five o'clock. Looks like you have booked a Halloween makeup session for the full face. Is that correct? Okay, great. So, what sort of look are you going for today? Not sure? That's fine. Uh, if you'd like, I can give you a look at our gallery of most popular looks that you could choose from, or just to give you some inspiration for something different you'd like to request. Uh, what is the occasion? Do you have a party tonight? Mm-hmm. Okay, great. Well, we'll definitely come up with a gorgeous look for you. I can't wait to get started. So, as you can see on the first page here, we have one, two, three, four different looks. The first is as classic as it gets, that smoked out vampy eye. You can see that it's a black gradating out into a purple and then a red, super blurry, super blended smoky eye. And then a somewhat sculpted brow pale face. This foundation is about two tones lighter than this model would normally go for. And then the bloody lip with the blended red with the plum and black at the very center and then glossed out. That looks so beautiful with the gloss. Yeah, so what do you think of this vampy look? We could customize it in any way you like. Yeah, we could go more dramatic with the eye, even more smoked out than that, or less, more subdued. We could go gorier, putting some like veins coming out from the eyes, and blood coming down from the mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is pretty glam. Are you thinking of leaning more towards a beauty look or a spooky, scary horror type of look? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah, no worries. The next is a 1920s flapper girl style. So she's got that almost kind of Betty Boo style look. As you can see, the brows have been completely covered and redrawn to be that super thin shape that's very of the era. And then a contoured little button nose, a blended lip that goes with the shades in the eyes. Pretty silk turban, beautiful earrings. Yeah, this is a very uh, good look to go for if you don't 
already have a costume pre-prepared because really the whole costume is the makeup look and you can put on any beautiful dress you might happen to already have and it'll complete the look beautifully. Yeah, we can do any sort of color. For this model, we did go with that like plum and pink. But for you, do you mind if I come a bit closer? Okay, great. If I take a look at your beautiful and then at the bottom here we have two different looks that are great options for if you don't really want to portray a particular character and you more just want to show off your festive Halloween spirit. Yeah, these are just general cute Halloween makeup. This first one has lots of intricate line work with these spider webs under the eyes and even on the nose, around the little heart. Isn't that cute? Yeah. And then just sort of like a blushy, dewy look over the rest of the face. And this is quite similar, more simplistic designs with the moon and the stars. A cat eye winging out in the outer as well as the inner corners. And then that beautiful haze of blended out orange around the eye and even coming down onto the cheek. I think that looks so pretty. And then this brow shape is unique. It really like gives the designs a chance to shine, but we could do any brow shape you like, of course. Or any color. Instead of the orange, we could do like a purple. Purple could be cute. Okay, and then the next page looks. Includes this spooky, scary demon with the completely blue face and neck, the white, white out eyes, a strong brow that goes well with this black wig and the horns, and the mouth looks like it's just sort of like melting or rotted, like a demon zombie look. Then we have the Carrie. So she's got a beautiful smoky eye, peachy lip, glam prom queen makeup that has been tarnished by a cascade of blood. And something that some people have been doing this year that I think is a very fun idea is instead of the more authentic looking blood drips, we've been doing glitter. looks very cool. Then we have the Silence of the Lambs movie cover, the whited out face, red eyes, a simple glam lash, and then the moth motif with the skull in the center painted over the lips. And finally, the last look, if you'd like to go for something more glam and more beauty, sort of we have a butterfly. So you can see this, once again, intricate line work. The butterfly wings around the eyes, some sparkles, just gorgeous, glossy lip. Even goes with her earrings. And again, of course, we can do that in any color you like. Pink would look beautiful, purple, blue, anything you want. Mm -hmm. That's a great choice. That's gonna look beautiful on you. Are there any sort of adjustments that you'd like to make to what we see here? Mm hmm Okay, so not blocking out the brow, but still a bit of enhancement to the shape for sure. I can definitely do that. And then as far as the colors, okay. 
exciting. It's going to look really pretty on you. I'm just going to clean up my hands and then we can get started. Okay, so my hands are all clean. We can get started. First, would you mind if I come a bit closer? Take a look at your face. See if I can ascertain what sort of skin type we're working with.
looks perfect. use concealer. Mm -hmm. Okay, would you like to go in with that today? It can help with like under eye darkness. You don't really seem to have any blemishes, so yeah, okay. I like to ask just because some people it's an essential part of their routine and others find that it adds too much of a heaviness or cakiness to their look. So we can just go in with a touch if you like. Okay, let's see. I think that the shade 249 is going to be perfect for you. We want it to be a smidge lighter than the foundation, but definitely not so light that it really stands out. be using the original RCMA No Color Powder. This stuff is the best. I'm picking up, picking up a bit of that. Not too much because we don't want a like chunky texture. We are simply looking to set set. That beautiful base is not going anywhere. Now we can finally get started with the eyes, the stars of the show. So once again, it's all about the priming. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is the original formula. They've got all sorts of different variations, but the original is still my baby. shades that are going to be really eye-catching in the party, party lighting. Your 
eyes are going to be shimmering and glittering. So, we are definitely going to use this warm brown shade to blend through the crease. We're going to use either this champagne shade or this glittery, glittery white as a highlight. We're going to use the black to really cut out and sculpt the depth that outer V shape to the lid, but as far as the accent shade in the middle of the lid, that's up to you. We could go for this purple, this blue, has kind of a dual cast to it that turns purple at the right angle, this gold green, this peachy pink copper, and a deep rich black. This is the color I've currently got on my lids, if that gives you That will look beautiful on you. Let's start out with a rounded blending brush. I'm going to pick up, pick up, pick up that brown. Nice, warm, mid-tone brown. To use small, circular motions to blend that through the outer corner and the crease, the crease, the crease. The outer corner and the crease, the crease, the crease. So to this to the soft. with some setting powder in order for it to really pack a punch helps the pigments truly shine to pick up, pick up, pick up shimmery shade and go ahead and look down for me, babe good thank you I'm gonna go in for another layer Usually with these shimmery colors, you do need to go in for two, three, even four passes sometimes to really get the depth of pigmentation that we're, that we're really looking for. so beautiful. And with a bit more of that, go ahead and look up for me, darling, up at the ceiling. Good. And tying that in on the lower lash line with that same shimmery color. Touch, touch, touching that in the center. Touch, touch, touch. I love that. It really um, brings light into the eyes. 
then we want to do a shimmery highlight accent in the inner corner and a lot of people also like to add the highlight accent to the brow bone do you like that? some people find it a bit outdated some people it's essential <laughs> okay yeah for sure and would you prefer to highlight with the champagne or the white? Mm-hmm. Okay, you got it, babe. Let's do it. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Okay, look it down, down, down. Good, 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 good. Go blood, 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 that. Come on, come on, like that. Blood, blood, blood. This is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Beautiful. Just with the eyeshadow, that pigmentation is incredible. Pat McGrath does not uh, mess around when it comes to the pigmentation, but it does always look beautiful to layer a glitter on top of the shadow. I've done that here. The glitter that I used on my eyes is the Lemonhead Phantom Space Paste Illuminating Glitter Concentrate. You only, you only need to take the tiniest touch of it and it looks beautiful, it brings so much light into the eyes. I've also put a touch of that smattered over the cheeks to kind of draw attention to the cheekbones and add a sparkly, magical effect. So we can do this space paste for you, but I'm not sure if that shade Phantom would really go with the color scheme we've got going so far. So another option would be I've got a bunch of these Lit Cosmetics glitters. There's this sort of like beige shade with holographic reflex in it called Champagne Wishes. More of a coppery tone called Ella. And then a duochrome green and brown called Soul Sister. These are all stunning. So, would you like to do a touch of glitter? Okay. So then which of these do you think you like the best? The Champagne Wishes, Ella, or Soul Sister? I've also got some more colors to show you. Even if you uh, don't want to choose them, it's just fun to look. I love showing off my glitter collection. Got a super fly. I'm not even sure how to describe this one. It's like quite dark, like a dark brown or black, even, but with rainbow reflex to it. Stunning. Not the right one for your look, I don't think, but stunning. Or I've got Heartbreaker, which is a would suit your look, I think. Yeah, it's got like coppery tones and gold and peach. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. In that case, we'll want to grab a bit of adhesive. Close your eyes.
beautiful. Oh, I'm so glad that we added the glitter. It looked beautiful even without it, but with that extra touch, now it's starting to look truly special. Right then, now it is time for mascara. So this is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. So, cast your gaze downward, downward for me. Perfect. And we are going to be applying falsies, so it's not too important. It's not too important to get your lashes looking absolutely. Wispies are going to be the slightly more subdued look. They are going to add that touch of drama and glamour, but without being too overwhelming. The perk of these would be that it will be easier for people to see the beauty of your eyeshadow. Really let the eyeshadow shine, whereas the ruffle is a touch more dramatic. hesitate to let me know if at any point they start to feel uncomfortable because we can always go in and take them off, trim the edges shorter, and reapply. Very easy. Want to make sure you're comfortable throughout the night. Thank you. 
the lip, I would recommend either the Classic Red. This is Blood Red from Besame. They do the most gorgeous replica makeup packaging inspired by actual cosmetics from the 1920s. What do you think of that shade? Mm -hmm. I think that would look gorgeous on you. so far, but if you would like to go for something more subdued, we have Salute to the Moon. And this looks quite different uh, in the tube than it does on the lips. It looks quite dark here, but once it's applied, it's a quite sheer plum with a golden glitter. It's like, uh, do you know Black Honey from Clinique? It's very uh, much like Black Honey, but with a touch of golden shimmer to it. little detail brush for precision purposes to pick up and pick up that product and start painting that on so carefully so delicately because a hallmark of the 1920s flapper girl look is the itty bitty baby doll lip that's got personal favorite is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I find this is incredibly effective, both in helping to ensure that your makeup doesn't budge, and also it seems to have a sort of like melding effect of the makeup into the face. It gives it a more natural, believable texture, where instead of it looking like the makeup is, uh, a different material sitting on top of your skin. It's like part of your skin. It's beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and spritz this on you. Look down, 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 down. Good, good. Okay. That dry, help it dry, help it dry. Beautiful. Wow, I am so incredibly happy with how your look turned out. Would you mind if I take a few photos for my portfolio? It's totally fine if you don't have the time. Okay, great. Let me fetch my phone. There we are. Okay, first just look straight towards me and tilt your chin up just a touch. Beautiful. And then could you look up for me? Good. Okay. I just would like to adjust your hair to this side, over to your left. Tuck that behind your ear and then tilt your face to the left a bit for me. And then a bit up. Okay. Then look over at that green glowing.
gorgeous. Thank you so much. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming in tonight to get your makeup done. You look positively stunning. I hope that you have a wonderful time at your party tonight, and I hope to see you again soon. Maybe next Halloween. Hopefully sooner if you have any other events coming up that you'd like to See you soon. Thank you so much.